Hello YouTubers, CD Mangaka, I'm bringing you another Treasure Hunter Challenge video. This is for all the treasures which are in Mexico, which is the southern part of our in-game world map. There's four of them, so we're going to hit these as fast as we can. The first one we get after the Treasure and Tumbleweed, which you can see in the first part of the Treasure Hunter series I've done. We find this tree, it's decorated with skeletons by the Rio del Toro River. River? Maybe I can pronounce my words this video. It's right around here. You'll see that there's a little coastal line, a small gray road around it. You want to ride that for a while. You want to ride along the coast line for a while until you find our skull decorated tree, which I think I'm going to bring up the map in a minute to show you right where it's at. So, right about there ish, under the IE in plain view, the bigger map. Well, here's the decorated tree. From there, the map tells you to go down this rock um, hill formation, down the second one. We're gonna hop off our horse right here. I can see the rock pile from here. You run over to the rock mound on your right. And you can see the skull tree in the background as we undo this treasure. So this one should be easy to find. If you can find that tree, just head down to the river. You'll find this treasure pretty easily. Awesome. This will make you treasure hunter rank number five. And if I remember right, it's either treasure hunter rank five or six. But once you get the, one of those two ranks, you can now ride in stage coaches for free. Awesome. I think it's six, might be five, but there's some incentive for you to do treasure hunter challenges. I mean, free stagecoach treasures. The second one, we're gonna have video cut. The second treasure, which we get from that first map, is located on that rock structure right there. It's by Crooked Toes. It's right where I'm at, above the O. First O in Crooked Toes looks like. What you want to do is find that rock structure that is detailed in the treasure map, and then it details for you to climb up. Climb, Marston, not jump up. Climb. I recommend you take this slowly, you don't want to run off and slide down, it can be a bit awkward. Just take it slowly, as you can see, there's distinct ledges that you can climb up to until you get to this top one right here, and then the treasure is right there. And I think it's after this one that you can get free stage coach rages. Rages, well, it's after this treasure that you can get free rides in stage coaches. Costs you zero dollar, zero dollar. But you know it's an overall money saver. And of course, you also get gold with each of these new treasure locations, which you can sell at any store you want and rake in a lot of money. Now, the next treasure, which we're going to have a video cut to right about uh, now, after our power slide. The next treasure is located underneath this arch here. It took me a while to find this arch, but I was able to locate it quite easily. As you see, it's just on the right side of the arch from whichever way you're looking at it. Well, right side. And that arch is located on this map. South of Chuprosa, the city itself, it's just gonna, it's gonna take this thing a minute to finally pick up on it. South from Chuprosa, it's at the Cale del Diablo. You want to find this rock formation on the arch here. It'll just take a while. I mean, the arch is obvious to find, but you just want to find this little rock formation right here, and your treasure is covered right here. It's actually kind of funny. My brother was inquiring about these treasure hunter challenges and he, and he was like can you hit people in the head with the shovel I'm like where'd you get the sho shovel for digging up the treasures you don't dig up the treasures it's kinda of funny for me it was kinda of funny he was like oh anyways then you get the next map and some more gold and another treasure hunter rank and this is the last treasure in Mexico this one took a little brain power for me to figure out but give me give myself a moment here to open up the map and here we go it's you have to find that rock structure right there from that rock structure it looks like you could rock down to a ridge and that ridge is overhung by over the river so yeah I'm gonna cut it here you wanna set your waypoint for Reca de Madera which is on the eastern side of Mexico as you can see a little bit above it's just you know west of Torque, Med Torque Madera however you pronounce it you have to ride along the river edge if you're on the west side of Mexico and have to ride up but it'll take you a while but you will eventually get here and there's our rock and there is the rock structure. Rock formation, rock thing, I don't know. Raca de Madera. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing those right. From here, you can see the river. You want to ride out from that rock to this ridge right here. I'd recommend hopping off on, hopping off your horse right by here. Running makes things go a little faster. Then you just want to keep on running and running and running and running until you get to the end of it. And there is the last treasure that is located in Mexico. The next, the final two treasures are located in West Elizabeth, which I will cover in another video, which will come out eh, a while from now. It depends on how you know f 
fast to take the campaign in Red Dead Redemption, which is not fast at all. <laughs> I just you can do absolutely no story missions in that game and have so much fun. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this. Hopefully this benefits you in some way, shape, or form. We will see you in other videos. Ciao, Bunga.